What's up YouTube? This is Reggie again for part two of my collection video. Um, I chose to start with the cheap fragrances. So we'll finish off the latter row uh, as you can see on the back and uh, we'll have to be quick because we'll have to get done in 15 minutes or less. Starting off we have Diesel Green very unique bottle, cheap, and by cheap I mean inexpensive and cheaply made. Uh, top part is plastic, and as you can see, it's uh, even rubbing off, the plastic is rubbing off due to the alcohol coming out of the sprayer. Um, good, uh, like the name implies, green fragrance. Uh, reminds me of Lacoste Essential. Um, but not quite up to that level. I mean, uh, less projection, um, less longevity, and a little bit more synthetic. Not a bad fragrance for the price, uh, and especially for the bottle I like. Uh, it was a great uh, choice for my collection. <clears throat> Next we have CK1. Very good fragrance, actually. Um, no matter what anybody says, I actually prefer this fragrance to uh, uh, most of the Calvin Klein fragrances out there. This is a very uh, clean, um, soapy fragrance. Um, synthetic, of course, like like most of the CK line, but um, aromatic, right out of the shower, um, soapy, clean, fresh uh, fragrance. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. Um, I do um, like this fragrance a lot. As I stated before, 3.4 ounce. Almost all of my containers are going to be 3.4 or the highest that you can get. Actually, I do believe they make a 6.4, or I'm sorry, a 6.7 ounce and CK1 and CKB, but I chose to stick with the 3.4. Uh, just due to the fact that they don't make um, the rest of the CK lineup in uh, 6.7 ounces, so it would look kind of awkward. Um, onward to CK1 Summer. Uh, this is a very good fragrance. I was very, uh, this is 2010 edition. I was very drawn back by this one because I didn't expect much out of it, but it has a uh, mandarin orange top note, um, citrus and fruity accords. It's uh, very good. Lasts uh, usually about four or five hours on my skin, and um, overall a pleasing scent. Uh, does get compliments. Um, very nice bottle, unique bottle. As you can see, it kind of fades from top to bottom, dark to light, and. Uh, that orange definitely corresponds with the smell, the uh, juice on the inside. It um, is definitely a orange scent. Um, CKB, not my favorite out of the lineup. Uh, <laughs> I would have to say this is actually um, one of my least like Calvin Klein fragrances. It's not bad, um, just a bit darker version of CK1. Uh, extremely synthetic, very synthetic. Does not last on my skin more than four hours. Um, does not project at all. It does have um, a very clean scent to it. Uh, again, an aromatic, clean, uh, out of the shower scent, but just darker. Um, can't really pinpoint what I'm smelling, if it's lavender, but it's um, the notes in it are uh, definitely floral. Um, not a bad fragrance per se, but not the best uh, in the Calvin Klein house, that's for sure. I just purchased it because um, I like the bottle uh, collection. Uh, onward to Tommy Bahama's Very Cool. This bottle uh, reminds me a lot of that, except for this lasts longer. This um, does have a very floral and citrus top note of mandarin oranges 
um, freshly peeled oranges. Um, projects and lasts a decent amount, lasts about six hours on my skin. And I should have prefaced this in my first video by saying I have dry skin, so um, I typically get um, shorter um, longevity on these colognes. And this is actually a cologne spray, not a eau de toilette, not an EDT. Um, so I'm very surprised that it lasts that long on my skin. Very good fragrance though. Um, would definitely recommend. I purchased this at a discounter um, for cheap. It was inexpensive as well as the venerable Set Sail St. Bart's by Tommy Bahama. I actually had the original uh, Tommy Bahama as well. Um, I purchased it blindly and uh, in doing so um, gave it away as a gift because it was a bit too mature for my liking. Uh, definitely uh, dark and leathery um, accords. Uh, a bit m too musky for my taste. Uh, maybe in a couple years when I'm uh, in my 30s plus I may uh, try it again. But this one um, Set Sail St. Bart's reminds me of um, a mojito. Uh, exactly like everybody says. It reminds me of a lime, boozy, accord. Um, projection is average. Um, longevity is average. Um, just like all the rest of the bottles, they're very nice, very well-made bottles. Thick. Um, not in particularly liking the top on this one, it's plastic, um, very cheap, but the bottle itself is a nice lot looking and well-made bottle. Um, again, worth the purchase if you can find this at a discounter. Onward to Guess, Suede. And just as the Suede moniker um, portrays, um, it smells like leather and musk all the way through. Very linear. Um, the only reason really, a reason why I purchased this bottle is because of the unique um, character and nature of the bottle, similar to the original Guess by Guess. Um, I wasn't overly thrilled with the scent. Again, a little bit mature for my taste. Um, last a long time, projects very well, but uh, that is a good or a bad thing depending on if you like this fragrance, which I am not thrilled over. Um, the original, on the other hand, is a very good fragrance. A very good citrus top note aromatic fragrance. It uh, has a nice uh, presentation like suede, exactly the same bottle but uh, chrome, if you can see the reflection. Um, kind of disappointed they only put these in 2.5 ounce bottles, I don't know if you can see, but it's a 2.5 ounce bottle, I've used quite a bit of it. Um, this was a uh, work fragrance for me for a while, because this is a uh, very easily usable uh, fragrance throughout the day. You can use this at any time. Um, general citrus uh, aromatic that lasts and projects a uh, moderate amount. <clears throat> All right, and here is Black Excess, and you may be wondering why I have this down with my cheap fragrances. Well, prepare for the bashing. I and uh, my girlfriend do not like this fragrance at all. It is extremely sour on my skin. I give my hands out to Paco Rabanne for trying uh, this fragrance out and being different. This reminds me of a more potent version of Armani Diamonds. Uh, except for this is extremely sour on my skin. This is uh, also a tester, as you can see, tester, if I can focus. Um, not a fan at all. I have barely used any of the juice in this. 
Um, my girlfriend won't even allow me to spray it around her. She does not like it at all. It is, uh, as the reviews say, a very uh, dark cherry, uh, sour, uh, floral, uh, dark fragrance. It uh, is very unique, but does not work on my skin. Um, who knows, I may be regifting this uh, to a buddy or a friend that wants it. Uh, would be perfect for a night out. Um, or a clubbing fragrance. Um, just not for me, unfortunately. Alright, we're going to have to speed this up because I've got about four minutes. Bulgari's Pour Om Extreme Tea Note. Think uh, slightly a same Miyake uh, Tea Note. Very, very nice. Uh, the only reason why I have this down here is because I cannot use this. Um, on a regular basis. This is a very upper class scent uh, to where I could use. see this using uh, maybe on a suit and tie, um, weddings, uh, anniversaries, uh, cordial events, but uh, I don't see this being used on an everyday basis unless you um, are one of the uh, corporate types that wear uh, suit and tie to work and um, I personally do not. I do uh, wear suit and tie on occasion, and this is why you see it as much as it is used. Um, but other than that, that's the only time I could see wearing this. That's why it is down here. <clears throat> to fly through the rest of them. FCUK Connect Him. Now the original FCUK was not my cup of tea. I've smelled it. It was awful. This is much better. Uh, does not last that long, does not project that well, but is still a very pleasing scent. Uh, love the um, bottle. The sprayer sucks, but it's still a very uh, much better scent than the original. Next we have Deseo by Jennifer Lopez. Again, I'm going to group these all in the same category as fruity, floral, aromatic fragrances, both 50 Cent Power and Jennifer Lopez Deseo. Not bad fragrances for celeb fragrances, but not the best. And that's why they are in the back. Oh, de Orange Vert by Hermes. You may be wondering why in the world is this $70 bottle in the back of the back, the back of the back of my fragrances. This does not last on my skin more than two hours. I do not like reapplying a fragrance every two hours. It is a great fragrance. It smells like mandarin oranges. Um, uh, linear, extremely linear, but does not last. Same with CK Into You. And I'm sorry if I'm rushing this, just coming up on the 15 minute mark. Lime, aromatic, does not last. Nice bottle, great presentation does not last and very synthetic. Last but not least is Paris Hilton's For Men. I also have at my work uh, Just Me as a work fragrance that I use at work and um, Summer, uh, Eternity Summer from Calvin Klein. That's why you won't see these but those bottles here. This is a very aromatic cucumber fragrance um, gets compliments, is a very good fragrance for such a cheap fragrance. I would recommend the purchase of this um, and Just Me, uh, which is also an aromatic but a fruity fragrance, uh, kind of a, like people say in Aqua de Jo, um, that projects more. All right, guys, got to wrap it up. Again, this is my cheap fragrance reviews uh, and collection video part two. Take care again.